Today's budget by the costly coalition of the NDP and Liberals is a full frontal attack on the paychecks of hardworking Canadians. It equals $4,200 per family in new government spending. That's more inflation, more taxes, and more costs for everyday people. There's no common sense. We asked for three things. The government should have brought home lower prices by eliminating inflationary deficits and carbon taxes, brought home powerful paychecks with lower taxes that reward hard work, and brought homes people could afford by getting rid of the government gatekeepers to speed up and lower the cost of building permits. Those are the three demands we put forward, and those three demands have not been met. This is an attack on the hardworking people of this country, and that is why Conservatives will be voting no. Instead, we will vote to bring home powerful paychecks, bring home lower costs, and bring homes that people can afford. It's common sense. Let's bring it home. Will the Bloc support the budget, please, sir? No. Why, why not? Because we said that we would not support a budget that, that would not uh, acknowledge the fact that the provinces in Quebec need 35% of the total budget in health care to support the system and make it minimally good enough for the services it has to provide. With this budget, it is clear that this will not happen. If we take the example of Quebec, about $1 billion a year will not make a difference in a budget that is already of something like 72 or $74 billion, billion of dollars a year in health care. So it is not significant, and it is not enough, and it will not justify our support. What do you think of the huge chunk of funding that's going toward dental care? Was it more than you expected to see? Uh, this is about what we expected to, to see. The big difference is that they are creating a centralized agency to manage this program. We will see what will happen with this when time comes uh, and how uh, this will be implemented in Quebec. Thing I can say I'm really proud that we were able to force this government to expand dental care. That's going to save money for families. That's going to mean that they're going to be able to take care of their teeth. And it's the biggest expansion of our health care system in a generation. It's truly going to be life-changing, and it's something that we're really proud of. That's going to really help Canadians in a real concrete way. And we're also proud that we forced this government to save people money, put more money back in their pockets with the GST rebate, which has been rebranded the grocery rebate. That's going to put money back in people's pockets. It's something that's going to make a difference in people's lives. And we're proud that we're able to do that. We're proud that we're, for the first time ever, ever able to connect government investments to good wages. That's never been there before, having those strings attached that we're going to give supports and incentives to tackle the climate crisis only if there's guarantees for good wages, good pay, and support for union jobs. Like, that's something that's never been done before, and we're proud of that. We're also, on a, a number of areas, not satisfied uh, that this government hasn't responded to the urgency of the housing crisis, that they haven't put in place changes to EI, given that we're up against a recession. So there's things that we're not satisfied by, but we're very proud of the work that we've been able to do. So are you going to be supporting this budget is the big question. Yes, we'll be supporting the budget. We're going to be supporting the expansion of dental care. We're going to be supporting uh, giving people some money back in their pockets, helping them save money. We're going to be supporting the good wages tied to investments. We're going to be supporting the relief that Canadians deserve and that we force this government to deliver.